What men your buggers? Press that bell icon fast fast to know every time Auntie Maggie's on YouTube man. Fed up man. You all saw elections are around the corner and our politicians are busy bloody mud slinging at each other's party and we all us the normal uh, lay public is become professional at what at criticizing the parties for doing a shoddy job of running the country yeah that is only party talk going on my god did you hear about this and that? yeah one party is known for robbing the country bloody dry the other party is uh, known for not being non secular and uh, you know all the minorities have reason to be scared man it's like choosing between a thief and a murderer who knows what is true and what is not half of it is bloody fake news so then what we sit and think one is worse than the other so then what is the point of voting it's not my problem man we think all these things correct that is wrong it is your bloody problem you're not walking on the road you're not worried about uh, education getting better what about unemployment the country is all our home man it's as much yours as it is mine then if you don't cast your vote then See, let me explain, let us see. Now, in this house, there is Silu, Bosco, and me. But if they don't help in the kitchen or help around the house, or at least contribute to running this house, then they can't afford to open their mouth, man. When the electricity bill is not paid, or the house is a mess, or something not working, my God, they better not open their mouth. Man, can't put it. They'll get same. You all will have to remain chup, man. You can't then complain. My God, there's so much poverty, and my God, economic this and infrastructure that. You'll have to just bloody zip it. You have to cast your vote if you want to have an opinion, man, in this country. Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, what difference is my one vote going to make, man? Right? Wrong. It makes a big bloody difference. Your one vote could change the course of destiny. Destiny, destiny, destiny. You get the point. Uh, now you're sitting and thinking, but well, what I know about politics, man, it's so confusing. They're painting the wrong picture. They're trying to fool the public, and I'm like one Buddha here. Don't want to make a mess and vote for the wrong person. Better not to vote, right? Wrong. Uh, actually, hey, that is correct. It is very confusing, man. There's no way to know which is the right one uh, to vote for. But I just like to say wrong, like that. Uh, see. The truth is, both the parties have their flaws. So I have one very simple method, man. Not any, mini, mini, mo. My simple method is to pick the one that is uh, the lesser the evil of the two, at least according to me. See, uh, let me explain in a simple way. Uh, when you when you go to choose a life partner, no, when you go to choose somebody who you want to get married to. You can't say, my God, all the buggers are dangerous. They'll all, all of them break my heart, so I'll not get married. You'll not say that. No, you have to take a chance, take a leap of faith. No, when I was choosing Silu, uh, I looked. I said I saw his qualities, and uh, I said I want someone who's a shy bugger. You know, I'm not going to flirt with all the girls. My someone who talks nicely to everybody, not just only his friends and family. And Silu had those qualities. There was one other rich, bloody bugger who's after me. My. Didn't like I said, what is the point of all that money if he doesn't treat me nicely? So I pick Silu. Same way, you all have to pick the one that is, uh, you know, the one that makes sense to you. Now see, if you believe in women's rights and you are worried about women's safety, then obviously you have to not pick the political party where the politicians are saying, "Ladki ho ko bahar raat ko nahi." जाने दो और आ, उसने कैसे कपड़ा पहना रात को तो ऐसा ही होगा ना उनके साथ हाउ यू कैन पिक लगान एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट पार्टी विच इज ऑल अबाउट इकोनॉमिक ग्रोथ देन दैट इज योर प्रायोरिटी पिक द वन दैट इज मोस्ट क्लोज टू वॉट यू बिलीव इन इट्स दैट वेरी सिंपल बट पिक मैन नाउ यू आर कम विद एक्सक्यूज इज माई गॉड आई फेल सीक ऑन दैट वोटिंग डे आई कुड इन फाइंड माई वोटिंग कार्ड I had a meeting. My God, very important. No, I went there and they didn't have my name. All valid excuses, right? Wrong, man. Even when I went, they wrote there, Margaret deceased. Who told them I'm dead? Huh? Sometimes all this gutbud happens. Sometimes they do the gutbud on purpose, man. All the more reason to go there and vote and not let somebody else bury vote in your name. 
my god i could have thrown my hands up in the air and said now what to do man forget it i tried but i ulta i did i threw my hands up in the air there and i created a bloody ruckus man i ran from counter to counter i made a big noise until i found one bugger who helped me then he changed the status and i voted then where there's a will there's a way and a vote yeah yeah there are 50 million reasons that one can come up with not to vote but you only need one good reason to vote see tomorrow when freedom is lost and you get arrested for something that you wrote on social media which is your uh, right to freedom of speech or something that you believe in that time you'll think or oh, what about when one man gets killed just because he was suspected of selling beef or having beef you will know that your vote could have saved his life but you didn't vote just vote because it is the right thing to do let's change our way starting today and change our approach towards politics instead of saying it's not my problem let's be actively involved and from now till elections no uh, let's stop saying what men bugger and start saying vote men bugger so we say vote vote men bugger we say vote 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 men bugger it's catchy yeah we say vote <laughs>